Bill Trice Edney, and I am editor in chief of the Trice Edney Newswire, also publisher of the Trice Edney Newswire. I don't just uh, edit content in the articles that come in, but the columnists and the authors and writers uh, who write for me are they take you know quite a store by the fact that we actually publish their work and send it out to black owned newspapers around the country. Well, it has expanded, you know, that's for sure. More and more people are reading um, us, not just by newspaper, which is what I'm used to and which I was so comfortable with until this digital world exploded. And once the digital world exploded and the social media world mixed in with it, um, content goes from hundreds of thousands now to millions in just a few minutes. Uh, you have to be much more conscious about your facts. You gotta be much more conscious about what it is you're writing and the responsibility of journalism. Because the further it goes, the more people will uh, read it, the more people are impacted, uh, the more people can run with either lies or truth. But now, um, more than ever, people are running with this information. So we have to be doubly sure that what we're putting out there is true is doing now. It's giving uh, us opportunities to own and us opportunities to uh, compile our work um, so that it will be forever on the internet and in ever, forever in a storehouse. Okay. There are two sides to that. First, the why not. The why not is because there has been such uh, an irresponsibility in the use of social media. Uh, for example, we can look at, um, just for a primary example, the Donald Trump tweets. Um, you know, about people and the retweeting uh, of things about uh, people and African Americans, etc. Um, when it goes out to millions of people like that, sometimes it can never be corrected and the damage, uh, tremendous damage can be done by tweeting and retweeting, uh, putting things out there on social media that has been no close, that has not been close to the truth. And once it's out there, it is often out there forever. I've received um, things, um, for example, just emails about something that was posted on social media two years ago that was long, that was old or, um, or corrected, that was wrong, and it's still out there, you know, still trending as if, as if it was true. So, and also the, the effect that it's had on the writing of some students, it is just it, it can be very damaging because students don't want to go beyond uh, the short sentences. It's hard for them to think beyond the short sentences in order to do a full-fledged, structured, and journalistically sound article. Uh, rather, they would rather tweet something or put something on Facebook. So to that extent, it has been uh, damaging. But to the, um, to the other extent where it has been excellent and good is where we have needed social media, that strength of social media, um, to expand that digital content, it has hit um, perfectly in those places where we needed it most. As for example, the Black Lives Matter issues, those issues that I've been writing off of decades pertaining to police brutality uh, that only went out through newspapers and then on digital media, those issues are now on steroids. Uh, through social media. They're getting millions upon millions of hits instead of just the, you know, abbreviated hits uh, in the hundreds of thousands. So to that extent, as long as the information is accurate and empowering, it has been an amazing difference and a positive, a very, very positive addition to the news world.